And for fun, I'm going to take all the objects I made and just dump them in a random scene. Uh, to do that, I need to grab the different models. So I have my, my scene folder here. I'm going to just systematically grab these and just click and drag them into Maya. It's usually new stuff. Uh, I'm going to delete all my image planes because I don't really need them in here. I'm just going to group all of these, call them Blue Yeti. Um, and I'll hide that for now and then have my mug, which is just a mug. I don't know why I'm grouping that. It was a little unnecessary, but whatever. <laughs> cough, cough. And then just keep doing that for all my stuff. Um, I will figure out, whoa boy, <laughs> I'll figure out which ones go to which. Um, so we have some tape roll ones that are labeled tape roll because of my import settings, apparently. Um, I will hide that. Scissors are all called scissors. Cool. And then my ukulele is ukulele. And whatever scale these are is probably going to be kind of a nightmare. Uh, cause I was not paying it to- oh boy, <laughs> my tape roll is the largest object. That's terrible. All right, so I'm just going to size this to the Blue Yeti since it's- uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to be a real person. I'm going to put all of this stuff on the origin because I'm a rational adult human person, sort of. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is probably just hide my ground plane with control H. And when you when you move this stuff, you want to make sure that you're uh, moving like the 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 whole group. It'll scale all your objects at once. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is probably just make sure everything's like not an insane size relative to the other stuff. Um, not being you know terribly precise, but you know my scissors are like hella tiny. Um, I'm also going to rotate these. These are actually like sitting on the ground plane. That feels like I apparently have no idea what size scissors are relative to a mug. But whatever. I don't know. This this feels fine. I actually have no idea. Um, all right, and then my ukulele, which for some reason is like the smallest object. Um, that's trashy looking. Cool. Just gonna just gonna fudge that a little bit. All right, so my ukulele, I'm also gonna lay down because it makes sense, and that is like way too big. All right, so I'm just gonna say that like the scissors feel huge. If you had all these objects sitting next to each other, which, funnily enough, I do. I literally, all of these are within reach of me. I just am not going to get them because I'm a crazy person. But anyway, doesn't really matter. Just grab your plane um, and then just make sure that everything is kind of, you know, sitting on the ground plane. One thing that's helpful for this, if you're not going to use snapping, which I'm not going to worry about for now, is just turning on the uh, screen space ambient occlusion because it'll sort of tell you more or less like what, um, how close things are. And I'm just going to try to arrange these in a way that I think is like vaguely interesting. Like the tape roll looks a little bit more complex. The scissors look kind of complex. Um, you know, I think I'm actually, I'm going to take the scissors and I'm just going to rotate them. Make sure since these, I was, I was lazy with mine. Uh, I'm actually just going to put these in my cup, um, but making sure that the, they look like they're sort of sitting on the cup and they're not like flipping through it. Um, so that's how, sort of, I think, how I'm going to display them. So I can grab the, the mug and the scissors, and I can just move them both together. And maybe move them, like, over here is kind of interesting. Oops. All right, I'm actually going to group these, and I'm just going to call it mug, scissors, and that way I can just move them all together. All right, so, like, that's kind of interesting. Not really loving the ukulele in this composition, so... Yeah, not really, eh, I'll just leave it here, what the heck. Cool. All right, so just, again, sort of set everything and make sure it's, like, kind of on the ground plane. Um, I might get rid of the ukulele. It's pretty hideous. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and do view camera tools. I'm sorry, camera settings resolution gate. And that's going to turn on basically my render view. It's also telling you the resolution that you're rendering at, um, which you can adjust in the render settings. And if you go down, so presets uh, for full HD, you're looking for HD 1080, and it'll give you that, um, the nice resolution you want. Probably don't need to worry about the rest of this for now. Uh, and what I'm going to do is just, I think this would look nice on like a sort of true invisible background, more or less, which is basically just going to be like a really long plane in the back with a sort of invisible background. I'm just going to give a little bit of beveling to that. And maybe make that a little bit larger. Um, so this this should be like a relatively. If I wanted that like really crazy, I could like scale that back even more. Um, 
But yeah, so now we have like our sort of goofy setup. Um, I'll chuck a light in here and sort of see how this looks. Shoot. I'm using the wrong version of Maya, which this one has been having issues with Arnold. Hang on a sec. All right, whatever. While the other one's opening, um, I can go through and just sort of start assigning these things different materials. Um, so like if I wanted to, for the scissors, um, I'm just going to say... Um, I'll do a blend for these, and I'll just sort of delete history. Uh, all right, hang on. All right, I pulled up my scene in a different version of Maya. Um, so I'm just going to toss in a quick light um, and see. I'll just do a physical sky, pop my render view open, and just see what that looks like. Um, actually, it's surprisingly not completely horrendous. Um, also, for test renders, it's probably better to keep it not full HD, <laughs> honestly. Um, I'm going to go change that really quick, because this is like... A little a little intense for just like a test render all right so again trying to find a an angle that i think is like sort of interesting for these um you know compositions not completely horrendous um what actually probably makes more sense for this particular render is to do a vertical render um where i can just i'll just type in uh 540 by 960 540 960 all right and, ooh, oops, uh, I ticked the wrong button, 540. All right, so that should give me a vertical render, ooh, <laughs> uh, which has very definitely changed my render view somewhat significantly. All right, so now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna zoom in. It also, the viewport doesn't necessarily play nice in my experience with like the vertical renders, um, which is honestly very annoying. Uh, so you might need to like zoom in weirdly farther than it seems like you should. Um, also, this back piece now is definitely just objectively not tall enough, so I'm going to go ahead and just scale that up and zoom back in and just sort of fudge things that way. Um, but I think that's, like, you know, compositionally a little more interesting. You see the ukulele does not really, like, doing much, which is kind of what I want for this. Um, so for the Blue Yeti, I'm just going to go ahead and um, I'll go ahead and save this. I'll assign this a new material um, that is a blin. And I will make this, and again, blends are not like ideal for things, um, but just for the, the sake of, you know, very, very briefly learning about, they're, they're a little simpler than some of the other stagers. Um, so you kind of mess with these. Um, wow, it's been, it's been such a minute that I actually don't remember how to like edit blends. That's really sad. Um, anywho. <laughs> Ah, yes, the reflectivity. I was like, why is this so shiny? Like, this is obnoxiously shiny. Okay. So, anywho. Um, but you basically just go through and sort of color things that way. Um, my usual suggestion is make your... So, make sure you can't see off the top of your uh, your little render plane thing there. Like, that looks pretty terrible. Um, and in this case, I'm just going to, you know, take that off a little bit. Um, so, for the Sky Dome, again, I think I want uh, this to be a little bit brighter than it is. Uh, so, I'm just going to go ahead... I'll take the intensity up a little bit, um, and then if you want to change the shadows, something maybe a little bit more dramatic, see kind of like what that does for you. Like I sort of like something about this I think is a little bit more satisfying. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just sort of do this and play, randomly play with some of the other settings. Kind of interesting. It's like a weird sort of like sepia look. Um, and then maybe try taking the intensity up. So it's like, you know, just kind of like mess around with stuff. Um, I think turbidity, no, it's the elevation, because it's like, yeah, but yeah, just kind of mess around, you know, see what you can get out of stuff. Um, but yeah, so that was just sort of throwing everything into a scene, organizing it, um, and then just like getting a quick, very janky render that probably needs some more textures, but whatever.